So real quick, we'll look at how we can change those permissions. Again, this is kind of lies in that you may never have to do this territory. Um, right now, we have my file and my file too. And let's say my file contains some text. It contains that text I had earlier. But let's say my file contains my personal diary entries. Right now, anyone on this machine can read it. This last group refers to everybody. So the R there means that anyone else who logs into my computer can read this file. Uh, I may not want anyone else to read it. I may want to remove that permission for everyone else. So there's a command to change permissions. It's called chmod, uh, the ch for change, the mod for, I don't actually know, but it's probably for modify or something, which doesn't make sense because change modifies your done now. Uh, but the point is chmod is the command you use to change the permissions for a file. This is where things are going to start to get a little bit interesting. What I'm going to tell it is I'm essentially going to tell it, I'm going to give it this whole set of permissions again, only this time I'm going to leave out the R. But the notation for doing that is a little bit weird. So I'm going to type this number here, 660. Without diving too deep into exactly what these means, each of these digits, these three, each digit corresponds to one of these sets of three. So the first six corresponds to this group, the next six corresponds to this group, the zero corresponds to this group. These are actually octal digits representing those three uh, properties in binary. So stick with me. Uh, or completely forget this and you'll learn it again sometime later. Uh, so I essentially have this, these three groups, right? In this case, it's RWX, RWX, RWX. This is for the owner, this is for the group, this is for everyone else. Are you with me? So each of these is basically a flag, right? It's either on or it's off, where the off is represented by the dash here, the on is represented by the letter. So what I have currently, this RW, if we use one to mean on and zero to mean off, then we have one, one, zero, one, one, zero, and currently I have one, zero, zero. So everyone see how I'm doing that? Um, these binary numbers translate into octal, which is base eight, are what these are. So I mean, if you know binary, you can probably see this, but without teaching everyone binary, I mean, two to the zero is, it's zero times two to the zero, so it's zero times one plus one times two to the first, plus one times two to the second, which turns into four plus two plus zero, ergo six. Uh, same deal here, this turns into a six, this would actually turn into a four. So the permissions currently here is six, six, four. I want to take away that R altogether. So I want to change this to a zero, which changes this to a zero, which is why we have six, six, zero. This becomes second nature after you do it a few times. But again, don't get too hung up on it for now. When you're online and you're looking at the chmod commands, you're going to see a couple of numbers a lot. 660 is pretty common. 775 is pretty common. 775 is the equivalent to giving everyone the ability to read and execute, and the last person the ability to do everything but write it, uh, so on and so forth. So 660, 775, these are real common. You can really sit here and play with this all day and just do an LS and see what change you've made afterwards if you really want to like, get a feel for it. But if I do a chmod 660 followed by the name of the file I want to modify, and now I do an ls-al again, you'll notice that our permission for everyone else has disappeared. If I wanted to change it back, like we said, originally it was 664, so I can just change it back, and that our permission's right back. <coughs> 